Hello everyone, Ooh, welcome back, I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic and today we're back with another Microsoft Let's Learn video and today we're taking a look at a Cessna 172 improvement mod and as you can see we can actually open the door <laughs> very very nice so we're going to be taking a look at it we're going to do a quick takeoff let's go inside real quick Yes, we can open the door. That's that's very nice. This is a freeware, and I will have a link in my description down below for this if you want to check it out for yourself. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And it also lets me know you guys are enjoying the content. So as you can see, we have chocks. And let's close this. Look at this. <laughs> Wheel chocks and removed. Front wheel bearing. Back wheel. Just in the front. Pilot and co pilot visible. We have a seat right here and a seat in the back. No, we don't. Flip checklist box. And if we want to get rid of this, bam. Okay, so we can close this. We can get rid of this as usual. Okay, so it is a little bit sensitive. There we go. Both sides. I guess it would it would be a little bit better if we were on the right seat, which is not there. Okay. We can turn this on. Here we have a checklist we can actually follow. Uh, we actually have to read this. It's not like the interactive checklist we have here. So this one, we can actually tick these. So tick item. Uh, this one, no. We actually have to read this. We have to basically follow this ourselves. Index. Reference. Emergency. This is very, very in-depth. High oil temp. Very nice. Charge field takeoff. Max runway, set and hold. Left stand. Climb 57. We can get rid of the checklist. Okay, so as you can see, it's the G1000. Let's turn on the beacon. Okay, so make sure all the way in. Everything's looking good. You bump for a couple of seconds. Throttle just a little bit forward. Parking brake is doing its thing. We are quite high actually, so let's lean the mixture. We're on so. There we go. Uh, nav and taxi. Let's set the. Oh, 
There we go. Chain liner liner five. Here's the engine. And back to the inside. So basically this mod it revamps the aircraft. So the doors they are animated, they function. The windows, we have sun visors. There's a handbook, which you can see right here. We can toggle all of these options. We can click on the spiral to get rid of it. We have wheel chocks, bearings. There's a checklist here. I really like this checklist. Uh, we can get rid of the checklist. There's the flip checklist box. Uh, this is not compatible with the PMS 50 GTN uh, 750. It is compatible though with the G1000 NXI. Okay, let's give it some throttle. Let's start moving. There we go. Hey there, buddy. You sure you want to stay there? There we go. This is a quite nice area. It's a very, very short runway. Testing smaller planes and helicopters here is very, very fun. And it's a beautiful area. Taxi, lights, strobe, heat of heat. Look at this view. All the mountains. It's very, very hard to go wrong in an area like this. Holding the brakes and we are full throttle. Dude, this is fun. Flaps coming up. Now we can trim the aircraft. Very, very smooth to fly this. Rising the heading. Autopilot. Ooh. Can you hold the altitude. There we go. Adding. Yeah, it's kind of close, but it's fine. Here we're just going to be testing the autopilot. Making sure everything is functional. This is where we took off from. And we have a lot of mountains nearby.
Okay, there we go. We can go straight line for a little bit. Right here we have the airport. It's a very nice approach, actually. If you ever want to fly in this region, very, very nice approach. Uh, here on the G1000, this is the NXI. We have the option to go on lean. And we have assist. And we can actually use this to lean the mixture. You can push in, pull. And you can kind of see the value here. See, it's going up. So we got to push it in just a little bit. It's going down until we get around zero. There we go. Too much. You have to be very, very careful here. Oh, it's very sensitive. Yeah, the autopilot is fairly smooth, but that's kind of what you can expect. Let's do seven and let's climb with FLC. Can we adjust the FLC with this? Yes, we can. Let's do nine. We should be hugging the mountain. So yeah, if you do, if you ever do mountain flying, ideally you want to hug one of the sides. This way, if you have to turn, you have more room. So I'm going this way, and then we're gonna turn back, and then I'm gonna go on the exterior view so I can kind of show what I mean. H nine five. Yeah, it's it's working. Okay, so we we are back on track, and this camera will be a little bit better, I feel like. So, here we have this valley, mountains on both sides. Let's say we're flying on this area, and for some reason, we want to turn back. We have all this room turned back. That's quite a bit. Same if we are going on this side. We're flying on this side, we want to turn back, we have all this to basically turn back. If you're flying on the middle, in between the mountains, you're not going to have a whole lot of room, and that can be bad. <laughs> that can be very, very bad. Um, we did climb to 7,000. Nice. This should be armed. We can disengage the autopilot. Trim is a little bit sensitive. Okay. 
Turning right. Maybe it's me. Yeah, it's me. Fairly, fairly smooth to turn. Pitch. Responsive, but smooth. We have the airport to our left side. I have to say the developer of this mod did a really good job. Really, really good. Actually considering the the whole animations, the doors, the, the sun visors. Very nice. A trim. There we go. Flaps. We're gonna want full flaps. There we go, this will be a fun approach. We are full flaps. It's a very short runway, so... Ideally, you want to have a fairly small plane or helicopter land in here. Helicopter you can land pretty pretty much anything here. And when I say ideally you want a small plane, it's mostly so you can leave Stop. this area. Stop. There we go. Brakes, they, they don't feel too strong. But they work quite well. Okay, let's follow the instructions. This one, I think it's this one, this one. There we go. Uh, taxi lights coming off. Off. Flaps are up. So far so good. Overall, this is a really, really nice mod. And it's a freeware. So that's a very, very good price. <laughs> really worth che worth checking out. Especially if you enjoy flying the 172. Uh, there's also a really good mod for the 152. So if you like Cessnas, the, the smaller ones. You are covered for Microsoft Flight Simulator. <laughs> and we can actually see that the, the seats, they're not here anymore. So it's not just on the interior, you can actually see the, the seats missing. That's very nice. I like this, I like this a lot. And this is the Cessna 172 SP Skyhawk AS 1000 improvement mod. It is a freeware. I will have a link in my description down below if you want to check it out for yourself. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And it also lets me know you guys enjoy the content. And wherever you are, I hope you stay safe. Fly safe. Bye-bye.